Holy shit. The fuck is this a AI fucking accident scene? More if they have insurance. Hello and welcome back. Now I'm gonna be um, basically doing a little discussion video here. There's not a whole lot of my normal stuff that I do, but I, I thought I wanted to talk about it, you know, with you guys and see what you think. Maybe start a discussion down below or something about it. Give me your opinions. I'd love to hear it. Um, so basically, the discussion's about is the state of Arma to Daisy mod and its associated mods like Epoch and Overwatch and stuff like that. Currently, um, we've we've seen a decline in the community. We've all seen it. We've we noticed it a lot. And a discussion's come up with my friends and I lately about you know whether you know it's obsolete and everybody's moving over to Arma Three or going on to other games. And granted, Arma Three's got some great features. It's got some great rifle play. You know, the, the list goes on, but. Nothing is going to ever compare, in my opinion, to Arma 2 Daisy mod and its associated mods. And just the beauty of it's always going to be beautiful to me. The, the gameplay, the way the zombies work, the, the gunfire, you know, the, the list goes on. It's just a wonderful game. The way, the way it was built, it just worked right for everybody. Everybody, it, it blew up when it first came out. We loved it. I mean, it didn't matter how many bugs are in it and how many problems with it. We, we just kept playing because we were, we were hooked. And it was during a time for me where, mo you know, the word MMO just made me cringe. And I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't stand thinking about MMOs anymore. And by coincidence, Sony told me about this game and I started playing it and I was hooked. It revived me. It brought me back into this type of type of gameplay and world style. And it set the marker for the zombie genre. There's no doubt about it. There's been many games that's, that's come out from, you know, just birthed from the uh, creation of this mod and, and this game. And, and that's all fine and dandy, but nothing, nothing truly truly gave me this wonderful feeling of wanting to play a game with for so many hours that I've put into this game like this one has and I've tried the others and there's just this this is the game you know this is the game I don't know how many of you guys actually felt that way about you know Armor 2 Daisy mod and I still do I still play it I still get nostalgic when I play it and, and, and I next thing you know you look at the clock and there's it's hours gone you know you're just like wow I've been playing this game a long time and, and I'm still enjoying it. And don't get me wrong, you know, we all have to get our breaks. We need our breaks and stuff like that. And, and that's fine. You know, we, we, we are human and we do get bored after so much time of, of certain things we do. But, you know, this game's a classic. You know, how many of you guys agree with me? I mean, this game is a classic. It, it's awesome. It's fun. It's entertaining. And um, I, I will always always come back and play this game and um i just you know i don't ag i don't agree with a lot of my friends and stuff about it being obsolete you know they say armor 3 is better they say you know it's just it's just the way to go the the new is great and i love playing armor 3 as well but this one <laughs> this one has a spot in my heart i don't know I, it's it's hard to describe the feeling that i get when i play this game it's you know it's fun oh armor 3 is more challenging you know people say that to me a lot and i'm like you know it's it's the feel of the game that's important to me you know i'm not a competitive player and i don't i don't try to get all caught up in the you know the pvp i love all things that come with with armor 2 with the base building like you see in the video here um you know the ai combat the uh the pvp is fun too uh, playing with the vehicles and the helicopters and all the all the little added features, you know, the the real the, the way the the way the action is in Arma 2 compared to Arma 3, with the, you know, you get shot, you have a chance to break your leg, you break your leg, you actually fall to the ground, you're gonna need morphine, you're gonna need specific drugs to keep going, you got the shakes, you gotta take painkillers, these things aren't really integrated into armor 3 as much you know you pop an instadoc or whatever the case may be 
you kind of walk slowly and stuff like that. It just doesn't have that same feel when you get wounded in combat, you know? That's one of the things that's really set set the two apart. Um, the, the gun realistic aspect to it in Armor 3 is a little bit more, you know, on a higher level. And yes, I agree, it is, the gunplay is pretty fun in that game. Um, Armor 2 is a little bit more simplified, but yet it's still challenging, you know, with the sway from running and, and things like that. I, everything that's compiled into Arma 2 Daisy Mod, it just works right from the movement to the combat to the uh, other content in it, the interaction, the zombies, you know, they tried to get the zombies to work right in Arma 3 and, and I never got that feel for Arma 3 zombies. I just, they, they're buggy, they're clunky, they just don't work right. Uh, the zombies in Arma 2, yeah, they have their issues, but they're cool. You know, I, I love them. The, just the way they, they work and stuff. Even the running zombies in the original Daisy Vanilla was, you know, a pain in the ass and they could be irritating as hell, but we adjusted and adapted to them and, and they were fun. The walking zombies have made it a little easier these days, but, you know, there's still servers out there that have running zombies. And it, when it comes to Vanilla, a lot's changed with Vanilla. It's, it's come a long way and they're still working on it, which I love them to death for. And it's, it's the same with Epoch. Epoch's got a new update out and daisy launcher is getting ready to not support the older epoch anymore they're calling it epoch legacy now and it's going to be removing it and a lot of the populated servers the real populated pvp servers are still using that old epoch and they're going to have to transition and move to this new setup and i hope they do i hope they do because the new epoch is pretty nice with all the added features and the added mods put into that mod with vector building i mean the list goes on advanced trader has been reworked and fixed and it's working great and i hope they they do i hope people aren't saying well you know it this the community's died too much and it's just time to move on let's let's go do armor 3 or something go build mods in armor 3 you know set up set up our servers over there and uh, i hope they don't i hope they stay around i hope they do um there's just so much so much potential still left in this game and to see that scripters are still going like the vanilla mob is still being worked on epoch still being worked on i'm i'm hoping they could just keep it going and i hope the community still supports it from this new transition on i mean there's going to be change there's always going to be change and i hope it's all in the right step you know the right direction and i think it is i think it is and i'm looking forward looking forward to the future of this mod and i hope it keeps going i want to play it until i get old and gray you know it, it is a great mod and i'll always keep coming back to it so please guys um let me know what you think leave your thoughts in the comments down below come in my uh live stream sometime you know bullshit with me uh you guys are always welcome and uh thank you guys so much for uh getting through this little discussion with me and i just wanted to give my thoughts on it all and uh yeah i'm probably missing something you know <laughs> but um yeah I, I just been thinking about it a lot lately and a lot of my friends have just you know wanted to just move on from arma 2 and uh i i really don't want to i really love the game and um yeah i play arma 3 and i and i'll play arma 3 and i'll continue to do so but this game man uh, much love to it Anyways, I've rambled on enough, and uh, thank you guys. Appreciate it for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.